we've got a game object class ready to go. We just need to apply it somewhere. We've got our terrain. That would make a good object. Head up to the top of game1.cs where you declare your variables. Find your two terrain variables, terrain model and terrain position. Get rid of those. And in their place, just put this line. Game object terrain equals new game object. That cleans things up a little. Of course, we'll need to change a few lines of code to fit this new style. Go to load content. Use the method selector. Look inside that method for terrain model equals content dot load model. Change it to be terrain dot model equals content dot load model quote models backslash backslash terrain quote. Pretty quick fix, and we're almost in business. You've noticed I haven't said or done anything about the draw method yet. We'll get to that. That's going to take a bit more work. First, though, let's add a new game object so we'll see something different on the screen. 